Namaste, my dear brothers and sisters. The love and blessings of the mother and Sri Aurobindo to all of you from Sri Aurobindo Ashtabhadi branch. My name is Ramesh Pilani, and on my right hand side is uh, Parth Jain, and on the left, his brother Karan Jain. So, welcome, Parth and Karan. Uh, Parth and Karan are both uh, students, former students of the Mothers International School. Uh, Parth graduated about three years ago from uh, the school and uh, Karan just last year. And uh, Karan, after finishing school, joined uh, BA Honours in Philosophy at the Hindu College in the University of Delhi and finished that course this year in the month of May. But uh, while he was still doing the course, he got a job and now he is doing his second job. The first one was with the impact sector and the second one with the corporate sector. In contrast, Karan decided immediately after his uh, uh, class 12 to go to the US and uh, he got admitted to a course at the University of Indiana at, Indi at Bloomington, where he's doing a course on Bachelor of Science, as you told me, in business. Uh, I thought business was an art subject, but uh, I think every subject is competing with others to qualify as a science. So business also has become science now. So Bachelor of Science in Business with specialization in entrepreneurship. So with this background, uh, I think we can uh, learn a lot from them as uh, I talk to them about their uh, experiences from different angles. So to start with uh, uh, your experience, probably a 14 year experience at the Mothers International School uh, could not have uh, been uh, without an impact on your life. So Path, do you, how would you look at that long experience starting as uh, a child and uh, growing up at the Mothers International School? What do you think you picked up there that continues to help you in your life even now? I would say that uh, mainly two things um, jump out at me from this question and those two things would be um, first would be the discipline. I think uh, discipline is something our school is known for and the second would be humility and how I would how I came across um, that these were two things that I really inculcated in myself uh, is after I actually left school. You, were in, you don't realize exactly what other values that you're actually imbibing but once you go out into the world, you see how other people are shaped. You see the kind of behavior and the values that they have. Uh, that is what actually makes you realize that maybe you've imbibed some values that actually make you a little different from someone who's maybe studied somewhere else or who's maybe brought up with different values. So I would say that uh, humility and humility and discipline are the two things that mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, small words, but they mean a lot and uh, they can have so much value in life. And especially when you contrast this, how much of this you find in uh, others who have a different background. Karun, would you like to add to that? Uh, yes, definitely. The, the mother's school has definitely taught us a lot of things that I really value even now. But something that stands out for me is collaboration and going forward as a collective. So we have always been told to uh, help everyone in whatever you are good at and seek help whenever required. So this is extremely important, I feel, in my life as a college student currently. Even going forward, as we always have to interact with people at all times, no matter what situation you are in, and you have to work as a team and in groups at times. And being able to express yourself well and help along with yourself in reaching a common goal is something that is very important. And this has really helped uh, me, which has also been taught uh, by the mother school, I think very well. Besides that, I would think taking an initiative uh, in many ways has also helped a lot. And taking an initiative in terms of just maybe helping someone else or starting a new venture in many ways, is an important part of one's journey. Second, two very important values, cooperation or in competition and acknowledging that we live in, inter in an interdependent world. And uh, that fact is something which is helpful because uh, 
uh, we all have our own strengths and weaknesses. So if we work together, uh, we can utilize our strengths best and uh, our weaknesses don't matter. So that's how we can accomplish so much more. And uh, then taking the initiative, not uh, just waiting for uh, to be told to do something, doing it on your own. Uh, Karan, you had the precedent of your elder brother deciding to stay back in India, but still you chose to do something different. You decided to go to the US immediately after finishing school. What made you make that choice? There were multiple reasons for deciding to go to the US. Definitely the main ones would be about the education that is in the US. I think uh, the mother school really prepares one for going into an environment where you go for a holistic learning experience. I think in the United States, uh, in my one year of experience, I have realized that academic is a, definitely a very important part, but the values that you inculcate, as well as the extracurricular activities, the competitions, and the groups and societies you are a part of is another important factor in that. Alongside that, uh, the professors and the way they teach is very unique in the United States, I feel. And um, I'm not sure if uh, what the situation is like in college in India, but definitely the school life in India, where I have experienced the Mother's International School has been a great experience to help me through my college as well. Would you elaborate a little more on uh, what the, what is it that you find striking in the way the professors in the United States teach? So what they do is they teach in a way that is relatable to the children and they make everyone comfortable with whatever topic is being taught. Besides that, there is a very special system that I have noticed, which is assessing the students and how much they have grasped without having it to be a burden. So making assessment in a form of activities projects and even games at times is something that uh, I have felt makes even students who are not very academically oriented be motivated to work towards that and actually learn what is being taught. So they make the subject interesting and they find ways to evaluate uh, the student in a manner that motivates the student. I think that is very important. Arth, if you go back three years and uh, try to recollect what is it that made you decide to stay back in India, uh, what would you say? Uh, I would say that it would be a big um, amalgamation of a lot of factors. But to point of view, it would be that I, something that I wanted to stay close to home. It might sound like a cliche, but I think that is something that was unconsciously or consciously there at the back of my mind. And another thing I wanted to do was to experience a government controlled or a government initiated education system. Since I was part of the Mother's International School, which is a private school, I really wanted to see uh, what the government education system or how government institutions are structured and actually um, are carried out. So I wanted to be a part of that. That's why I decided to join the Delhi University. And another thing that I would say is why I chose to stay back would be that I wanted to first explore and understand the different kind of cultures, the people, and actually be able to interact with them to actually know India much better and what we as a nation are than to actually go out and explore other countries or understand their culture or maybe uh, make comparatives of how India or US or the other countries might be different. So definitely being part of Delhi University, interacting with students from the south, north, the northeast, from the south, from all parts of the country is something that uh, I have really cherished throughout the three years of my college. So experience the diversity in India before you think of uh, going to another diverse culture far away. Definitely. As Sri Aurobindo says, you know, the third principle of teaching from the near to the far. <laughs> so starting with the near. So now how do you look at it in retrospect? Do you think you made the right choice? Especially when uh, uh, Karan tells you about how the professors teach in the US, you know, you just heard him say, and I'm sure uh, he must have told you many more stories at home. 
definitely i think there is something mm-hmm. that i have missed out on in terms of the pedagogy that they have in other countries other developed countries but i wouldn't think that there would be uh, any regret that i have because uh, the kind of things that i have experienced and i have learned might not be as academic in nature they might be more in the terms of soft skills and how people from different cultures who have been brought up with different values altogether actually come together to work towards something or to actually uh, see how a discussion plays out amongst people from just such diverse cultures i think that is something that um, i value much more and so i won't really have any regrets of not going but now you have been working for some time how has the transition been from uh... being a student to working say the contrast between a, the life of a student and working life uh so uh, to say the least it's been a little difficult for sure um from just spending 5 to 6 hours at school or college a day and then spending the rest on your own to spending 8 to 10 or even 12 hours at work and then having the rest of the day to yourself it's definitely been quite a jump um one thing i would say is that uh, the discipline that uh, i have been able to in- i have been imbued with during my school is one thing that's definitely helped me throughout my uh, professional life as well because uh, time management and being able to uh, have a really clear and crisp form of communication is something that's uh, con- continuously helping me out in my professional life as well So Karan, you seem quite happy with the choice that you have made. Uh, any message which you would like to give to young people like you who are just finishing school? Uh... So one thing I would definitely say is you should know what you are looking for. And based on that, uh, you can make a choice about where you want to go. It doesn't, it's not necessarily between going outside India or within India. it's about many factors about which college or wherever you want to go i think it is more a factor of what you want to do and what kind of learning you want to pursue i think the experiences i've had in the us has uh, helped me meet different people from different diversity and uh, cultures as well and it has showed me an experience that i did not know existed it has enable me to see the outside world and be free about what i want to do i think this is a sort of a contrast that you see in school and college life in school you are disciplined definitely and you do what you are told to do mostly but in college you can do whatever you want but i think that school life prepares you to be able to make the most of what uh, you can do in your college since that discipline is required to make use of the free uh, freedom you are given so i feel that definitely one should do what they want to do and then accordingly make decisions about or uh, whatever regarding their college life or uh, careers so one should understand oneself know oneself better and uh, then decide depending upon what you are really looking for in life definitely and part you have any message for uh, youngsters uh, who are looking for a career <laughs> or ch- choosing trying to choose a career uh, i think that um, the only thing that i would have to say is that uh, education prepares you with mostly soft skills and values that one should inculcate and have in all spheres of life and transitioning to a job is something that might not be as related to your education as you might thought and it might be a totally different field but what you will realize over time is that even though those hard skills that you're learning on job might be different um the soft skills that you've learned and the kind of values that you've imbibed are something that will constantly be at play at your job as well and even in your process of learning or working with your team or presenting something to an outside um, person or your manager anything else that you think uh, i should have asked but haven't anything that crossed your mind as we were talking either of you karan uh, no sir not from my side par nothing in particular okay then thank you both of you and uh, wish you all the best in your future life
uh, hope that uh, you will continue getting what you are looking for and uh, experience in your life a lot of love, peace, joy, and fulfillment. And as the mother said, you might start with a temporary occupation, but then if you do that well, eventually you'll find your final calling. So while choosing well is important, as you have both tried to do from your own uh, points of view, and uh, your parents have been very supportive, I can see, in letting you make these different choices. Uh, if you continue doing what you get to do in the right spirit, in the spirit of Karma Yoga, eventually you'll also discover your final calling. Thank you, sir. With that, thank you thank for you, being sir. here. And I hope uh, youngsters will get something useful from this conversation. <laughs>